Night has fallen and you're weary from travel. Stars fill the sky above, and in front of you is a brightly lit wooden house, the only building you've seen for days. You walk toward the house, hearing the sounds of laughter and talk as you reach the door and push it open. You sit down and join the game. It's a cheap buy-in. The lady fiddling with dice gets good cards, but has no real strategy. The man to your right seems to just hold on to the highest cards he has, regardless of suit or any consideration of matches. The man in gray across from you, though, he's good. He already had the largest pile of coins when you bought in, and while your winnings grow quickly, you can't quite catch him. One by one, the other players leave the table, sometimes with peak or with wry humor, leaving their winnings with you or the man in gray. Finally, it's just you and the man in gray. He looks at you, full of humor and winks. Last hand? He deals, you draw, and look at your hand. It's good, but the man in gray pushes forward his whole pile. You're not sure exactly how much it is, but it's more than you've got. You can't match that. The man in gray stops you. Now, if you like, I'll let you wager your word. I know you'll be good for it. Just promise you'll pay the debt, however I ask. Yep, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. All sp The man in gray smiles. All right then, I'll call. Well, your luck wasn't so good, was it? That's quite the hand, but not for the game we're playing. I'm afraid you owe me. Your life, sure. But more than that, your labor. You see, this land is built on stories. It's one big story, this country, woven of many small ones. Few of the small ones are strictly true, and the big story is most. All the stories and songs and myths and legends start somewhere, with a seed. As they're told and retold and passed around, they grow and change to become the stories we know. To pay your debt to me, you'll be carrying stories, finding the seeds first and then spreading them, telling them onwards so they can begin gaining strength. This is no light task. Stories are heavy. Most of the stories you'll find will be small seeds. They might be true, but they'll grow wild and unbelievable with the telling. The more important stories are the true ones. The ones people will tell you about their own lives. Those often get lost in the weaves of the big story. The more true stories you can find and tell, the more you can weave that truth into the big story. 
Now, go ahead. You tell me a story. I'll trade you some information about your task. Travel? That's your job. Wander from place to place, gather those stories and spread them. People get bored hearing the same stories over and over. But an old cliché in one state might be a rip-roaring new yarn in another. You sometimes have to make choices about what kind of story you're finding. Is it a love story? Or a tragedy? Don't gather too many of one kind though. This Your deepest desires? Your greatest wish? Heaven? Big Rock Candy Mountain? El Dorado, the promised land, that place just over the ridge where they all say that the water tastes just like the sweetest wine. Well, I don't know where that is. It's supposed to be somewhere in this country. Ask the people you meet. They're all searching for the same thing. It's just luck. Funny how bad luck seems to follow the folks who already have problems aplenty. Well, try your luck out there in this country. See how the dice treat you. It's not all bad. You'll have to work hard, but I'll give you the gift for seeing the true shapes of people. Not many who can do that. I'll strip away your flesh to make the journey easier, but still you'll feel pain, hunger, weariness, thirst and despair. They're all part of stories, the part not often told. And death, yes, but don't worry. As long as your task remains, you come back. Go on your way, seeker. Maybe we'll meet again, or maybe not. Either way, it'll be an experience for you. I'm jealous in some ways. I hope you find what you're looking for. Hey everyone, this is going to be a little bit of a different playthrough. Unfortunately, Ronnie is not here. He's sleeping from doing his regular job. So I'll be doing this playthrough. Um, most of it will probably be silent though, so don't expect too many funny remarks. But yeah, we're going to be playing where the water tastes like wine. Can I run? Oh, I can hunt. Whoa. I know I could do that. <laughs> 